Hello friends today i will show you how to implement linked list using javascript so let's start with it before looking into implementation let's see what is linked list and how it looks so for a linked list we have a collection of nodes for each node we have two things first is data and the next is the next pointer which point to the next node of the linked list so see uh, you can see over here the, uh, there is one example for this example 2 is the value and 200 is the pointer to the next node secondly we have 5 as a value and 300 is a pointer to the next node which is the address of the next node 3 is the value for this node and since there is no more node available in this linked list so we have null which uh, which is the pointer uh, for this uh, particular node so here we have a head head will be the uh, from the starting of the node uh, the starting of the linked list the first node will be uh, held by the head so head will uh, have the address for the starting of the node starting on the linked list so this is how a linked list will look like so if we want to insert an element into a linked list we have three possibilities first is to insert at the starting second we can insert in anywhere in the middle or we can insert in to the last so if we want to insert in the starting then we simply have to ch uh, change this head pointer to point that particular node and that particular node will point to the starting of this uh, linked list which is uh, having the value 2 and if we want to insert in middle then uh, the previous uh, previous node will point to that particular new node and the next node will point to that particular node i mean that particular node will point to that next particular node and at last if we want to insert then we can just have to go to that last element and since this last element is pointed to null it will point to that newly added element so this is how insertion will done and similar way we can delete also if you want to delete this 5 over here then we just have to point this 2 to last node which is 300 so this will become 300 and this is how we we will be able to delete five from this uh, linked list so now let's see how it's been implemented so here is the implementation of linked list using javascript so firstly we will create one class named as node which will keep each node so each node will have two things with it one will be data which will be the actual value and another will be a pointer to the next node which will be null for by default so now we will create one class named as linked list now this linked list will be having one is the head of the linked list for starting it will be null and the size of the linked list which will be zero by default so for every linked list we will insert elements into the linked list so let's create one function let's say it insert and let's part the pass the data to it and there it goes now let me create a 
object for that particular class which is node which will hold this data into that particular class now we will check that if this dot head equal equal to null that means head is pointed to nothing then this head will point to this particular starting node else we will create a variable called as current which will point to the current node which is this dot head that means head is not pointing to null that means head is having some mm, reference to a particular node so while current dot next not equal to null we will create a while loop which will iterate till the current dot next will not equal to null that means that the next the next pointer to uh, there is a node and the next pointer which points to another node will be null that means that is the last last particular node which is there in this linked list then we will we can insert a new uh, node in that link list we can link that particular last last node to the newly added node so if we are not at the last node then we will proceed further and we will say current equal to current not dot next and after we reach to the um, last node then this loop will be terminated and we will have the current value which is the last node of this linked list so then we can write current dot next equal to node and we can increment the pointer increment our size over here and we can increment the size in this part also so that after a first node has been inserted that size will also increment then uh, the particular link link list size so this is how we will insert an element into the link list now let me show you how we will how we will delete an element from this link list so for deleting part we will be having a argument of element which we have to delete and then we can delete that particular element so let's name this function as remove particular data now let's take something as a variable to take count take count for this last node and the second last node so let current equal to this dot head and first of all we will check as if this dot head not equal to null i mean equal to equal to null this will check the condition that is there any element available in our linked list or not if it's not available then we will just return we will return minus 1 else we will proceed further so the current will be the head of the uh, the current element the current node and let's say previous 
equal to null for now now we will iterate here till current not equal to null now if current dot data equal equal to this particular data which we are removing and if previous equal equal to null that means it doesn't have the previous value previous node so this means that this is the first node we are deleting so this dot head equal to current dot next so since we are deleting the first node so the head will not point to that particular node it will point to the next node which is available so that's why head is pointing to current dot next else we have a previous pointer that means previous element then that is in middle so in this scenario this previous will be pointing to the next node not this current node that means this current node won't be having the pointing to the linked list so else previous dot next equal to current dot next hmm so this is how it will look like and after this else part we will decrement the size of the link list and we will return current dot data which we have removed okay and if we have reached the end of this while loop and and in this while loop we will um, put a condition like put a thing like we will at each iteration we will keep on proceeding further so previous will become current and current will become current dot next now finally outside this loop if we could not able to find that particular element that means it's not there in our link list then we will return minus 1 so this is how the remove will work now since we have to print the entire link list to see that how our data been looking like so we will have a function print list and it will won't having any para, any argument and we will just loop around and just print the elements so this dot head is not equal to null then console dot log in javascript we use console log this dot head dot data
and we will proceed further this dot head equal to this dot head dot next actually we can write here we can take um, this head node to a current variable and we can write here as current equal to current dot next if we store our variable to a particular variable to store our uh, current node to a particular variable known as current like this let current equal to this dot head so but since it's not much different so I have not used the word here now let's create the object for the linked list let's say ll equal to new linked list and then we will insert some element to, into this linked list ll dot insert let's say I have inserted one ll dot insert let's say three l dot insert it should not be any order because it will store randomly so it, if we give as a increment order it will store in the increment order if we give a random input it will store in randomly it won't uh, do any kind of a sorting over here let's say we have given over here like two it will store it like this only then we will give like insert 5 then it will store this elements now let me print and check what's coming on the list so this is the printing statement now let me run this so this is what coming 1 3 2 5 firstly we have inserted 1 then 3 then 2 and then 5 in the link list so now let's we have to delete an element let's say we delete one element so remove let's say we remove 3 now Now let's see what it's printing. So this is what coming up 1, 2 and 5. 3 has been removed from the linked list. Now if I remove one more element ll dot remove let's say 2 so now the result is 1 and 5 now if I insert one element ll dot insert let's say 7 so it will insert 7 so this is how it will work so I hope you like this video this code will be available in the description so you can check this code and you can do any modification you want to do so now thank you